So we are gonna compare the Intel Core i7-660U with the i5-5300U that's a slightly earlier Broadwell processor in Skylake is the latest one at the time we are making this video the first difference is the cache memory that's 3 MB versus 4 MB that certainly is gonna give a good improvement in the performance that we will see later in the benchmarks that we will show shortly but before that let's take a look at the base and the turbo clock frequencies 3.2.3 GHz versus 2.6 GHz and the turbo clock frequency for those who don't know it is the clock frequency that processor increases based upon the demand so that is 2.9 GHz versus 3.5 GHz or 500 MHz or about 20% uh, higher they have the same number of cores and threads and that doesn't make a difference so with this information that should be good enough to give you an indication what's going to be the difference between these two there is no substantial improvement in the performance for a given clock between Broadwell and Skylake maybe like 1 to 1.5 percent so these are the three things that's going to drive the difference between these two the clock frequencies the cache memory and the better architecture and we have this pass mark the popular benchmark score for 660U at 4747 versus 3847 for i5-5300U so i5 is still holds not too bad given that it's substantially low in clock frequency so based upon that you can take your decision which the processor is better and a couple of more things one is the i7-6600U has DDR4 that works at 1.2 volt compared to DDR3 working at 1.5 volt. That saves some power and that's so important for the mm, ultra notebooks. These two processors have a GDP rating of 15 watts and we are really in a low power mode still working at uh, substantially high clock frequency. That's one thing made possible by the uh, lithography of uh, 14 nanometer lithography. Uh, that's Intel's node processor giving it advantage over the AMD. Uh, other things are HD graphics 5500 versus HD graphics 520. And you can compare this. I really don't have an idea right now which one is better. Uh, the other thing is of course the PCI Express that improves from 2.0 to 3.0 which will give uh, remove the bottleneck in the PCI Express uh, data transfer rate. But finally we have a DMI, DMI bus improvement from DMI2 to DMI3 though Intel does not list it and that improves from 5 giga transfer per second to I think 8 giga transfers per second. So that's all between i5-5300U versus i7-6600U. Uh, list pricing you can say $281 versus $393 which makes sense. It's, it's proportional to the performance improvement you get and Skylake obviously the better one right now. Thanks for taking a look.